All right, before we do anything, put something behind the wheel so the car don't roll off. What you want to do is, we're going to put the parking brake off, okay? So we're going to confirm it. Go ahead, start the engine. So right now, parking brake is off. Put it on. If you see that red light right there, it's on. Turn it off. That's it. The parking brake is off. All right, guys. You got a 2019 BMW here. Um, this is a 328i. We got rear brakes. Then we need to change the pads. But we got electrical caliper here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you a trick to compress this baby. So you're going to need tools. Uh, first of all, you're going to need an Allen key. Okay, Allen key is uh, size 5, 5 millimeter. And then I got this set made by Craftman. It's no part number, but this is a 12 point. So it comes as a, as a 40s in there. So this is the one I use. I think one of these, yeah, this one might be it right here. So there's no numbers on this. Um, it says M8. That's all it says on it, M8. So it's a 12 point. That's what we're going to need. You can also use a torque set on these. So what we're going to do first is um, we're going to disconnect this actuator on the brake here. If I can't do it, what I'm going to do then is then I am going to pretty much release this whole thing. So that's what I'll do. So start off. I want to take out this 14 millimeter, which needs to go kind of clockwise up. I was going the right way. Pretty loose. Same thing down here. So the time, you better hold this if it spins with it. So this baby's going to come off. We do have the parking brake is off. That's step one. So when you get, get out of the car, make sure you put a pad like I got on the opposite side over there. It was right behind the wheel. So the car doesn't roll. Um, put a pad on so the car doesn't roll and turn off the parking brake, okay? So now our caliper, just don't hurt yourself. Should come off, there's a brake sensor in here. So we need to pay attention to that brake sensor as well because it's gonna get stretched. If you get a new brake pad, that's fine too. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go get another tool, a fork or so, I'm gonna pop this open. So when I got me this, you can use a flathead screwdriver, that's fine too. I'm gonna just pop this sensor off. Okay, the cable, I'm gonna try to pop this off also so we don't stretch any of these cables. But our caliper is, so all I needed was a some, uh, something lengthy enough so this can move around. And what I'll do next is, I'll try to pop the sensor from here just so if you got a sensor light on, you're in trouble or you're going to have to replace the sensor. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull that. I couldn't find my long needle nose. So I got me a plier such as this. And I just need to pull that sensor out of there. Try not to damage it because you can reuse it. Uh, if your sensor broke here, if it got cut here, you're going to have a light in the dash. Then you're going to need some resetting. There's a small little metal plate in here, so make sure you don't lose that as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I just wanna guide this sensor out of here, so it's out of my way. And here goes nothing. So if you need to replace this sensor, okay, let me just get this out of the way. You just need to reroute the cable and open this box up. You open this box up, you just pull this, push this tab and change that sensor, but we don't need to touch that. But this is what we need to get out. So, so far looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this guy off right here. Okay, I'm going to pop this off. Freaking one hand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to push this cable off. Once you get this off, you should be able to maneuver this caliper around much, much better. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, still not good enough, but 
better than before. So let me just get this guy out of here. And I'm gonna turn it around. Once we turn it around, we're gonna remove this Allen here and this Allen over here. Okay, I'm sorry about the lighting. Let me just see if I can put it here. That's better. That's where our T, the Allen key number five, comes handy on my electric drill here. One. And two. Okay. So you could disconnect this connector if you like. Should have done that first. So I like to pull on this tab. Okay. Maybe I can do it right now. So I should have done this before I remove the freaking bolts. But if you haven't done it, that's fine too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it alone. And there's an opening in here, so pay attention to that. See that O-ring? So it stayed behind. The O-ring stayed behind, so make sure you don't lose it. This goes back into your little guy here. Okay, so I made a little bit of mess. Disconnect the connector first, it's okay to disconnect. So what you do here is you push in on this tab and you pull this connector, okay? So there's your actuator on this BMW. And this baby comes off really easy. So this O-ring, make sure you don't lose this O-ring. So we didn't need to touch this guy at all whatsoever. I'm gonna put this baby to the side. Okay, now we're gonna bring this camera out a bit. And I'm gonna show you guys how to compress this, okay? So you're gonna have to pay attention to the front and the back of this caliper this harness it's not long enough not the harness the cable so anyways back here back here we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit one of these tools so this fits in there perfectly okay so at the same time what I'm gonna do is you cannot put a C clamp on this okay so I got this compressed tool here caliper compressed tool so pay attention to this guy. Right now is the moment you want to pay attention. And we'll bring the camera up a little bit this way. And we'll bring our light right here. That's more like it. So, I mean, the light is wavy. So let's do that. That's better. So what I'm going to do here is pretty much I'm going to turn this. So you have to figure out if I turn it clockwise, it goes in. If I do it kind of clockwise, it comes out. So... Soft squeezes, turns, squeeze. Slowly, okay? You could just turn this and then thing will go all the way, but do it at the same moment. And that's it. Once it's there, you're all done and set. I'm gonna prep this caliper. So, we're ready to put the brakes in. And it is ready to be installed. So, this little guy, make sure the seal is there. And it's only gonna go one way, okay? If you put it the wrong way, the, the bolts won't line up. You see how the bolts didn't line up? I'm gonna try it this way. Make sure your O-ring is there. And if you are able to manage to get that on, you could turn it. Once it's grabbed, you could turn it a bit. But once it's on, you want to take your Allen's screws, put them on. There you go, one. I'm gonna grab the second one. And two. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, what I want to do is got my both of my screws on. Got them on without the bracket, so gonna have to go back in a bit <laughs> and take them off because these brackets these, these goes on and then the screws go on so put your hand on it made a mistake there it's okay this guy comes off take the second one off okay There's, there it is so what I want to do here is this guy goes on it's a funny looking bracket here. 
Wish I had three hands. This guy's on. And then I should be able to somehow, some way. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tool and extension and get this baby on. Once you get one on, it should hold itself. Okay. And I'm gonna look for the second. Second one should go on simply right over here. There you go. That baby's on. And then what I'm going to do is we pretty much have prepped the caliber. Tighten this. Tighten that. Okay, just make sure you can wind up your brake cable. It, like if it was able to go like this, it's nice and straight. You see that? Perfect. That's what I like. So we're gonna put this to the side. We're not gonna connect the harness yet. And we're gonna pull out the brake pads. Okay, let's pull off the brake pads. One and two. They look the same thing, okay? One of them is, it has this little plate in the back. And that's the one that goes on the inside with the sensor on it. So we're gonna have to break away from the new brake pad. You clean and grease whatever you like. Make sure your slider pins are nice and greased up. They're moving freely. And then we should be ready to put on the brake pads. Okay, so we got our brake pads. Remember, this brake pad is gonna go on the inside. I'm gonna show you how to put this brake pad in. Just by looking at the outside, it's the same procedure inside. So you get this guy and you slip it right through. So this is where your brake sensor is gonna go in, but we're gonna put that at the end. So we're pretty much done here, okay? If you wanna put a little bit of greasing on the edges here, you could do, there's two bolts on the back of this uh, bracket here. If you remove those, let me see where the hell they are. Okay, they're very far in there and uh, you should be able to get this rotor if you need to replace the rotor. There's an Allen key here, which might be a uh, five millimeter as well. You take that off right here and the rotor should come off. So if you're doing brakes and rotors, that's how you're gonna do it. Two bolts in the bracket on the back. And one here, everything should just come off. The bracket should come off. All right, so pretty much this is done deal. We're gonna take our caliper here. We're gonna put this baby on. I'm gonna show you guys the brake pads that we got. So pretty much the two bolts and this bracket. And if you need to torque them, you torque them. If you don't have the torque specs like me, I'm gonna just tighten it to the best of my ability. Don't over tighten it either and you don't break it. Anyways, so pretty much 14 millimeters again. I'll show you all the tools that we used at the end of the video. So 14 here, nice and tight. 14 down here. In the bottom if it turns so you might have to hold this the slider pin there you go so that's done let's the camera so a few things we need to do here is first of all we're gonna take our sensor here our brake wear indicator sensor so if you got a cut, replace it. And if it looks good, leave it alone. So pretty much the sensor comes and you pretty much push it right in the slot, right there. Should click right in. Okay, should not rub against anything. Also, um, remember, we pulled it off from the bracket here. So make sure you put it back on the bracket here. It's kind of tough from up here. Let's see if my camera can see it from back here. So this baby goes right there. Okay, so pretty much you guys got the point. This little guy, you're gonna connect here, push it in the, over here, and then make sure you connect the connector here, okay? Make sure it clicks. 
and it grabs, try to pull it up, it should not come off. So if you leave these off, you're gonna have check in pop up or brake light pop up. So make sure it's connected and uh, make sure everything is nice and tight. Your brake pads are in properly. And that's it. I'm gonna show you the tool. So pretty much we use these. Um, 17 millimeter for the wheel. This let it plier, we use this. You can have a flat head screwdriver and we use this. And on the other side, I got a um, five millimeter Allen and we use a compressed tool. That's basically everything. And let me show you the brake pads. Now. Okay, so pretty much the job is done and uh, we do need to calibrate the rear actuators. So what we're gonna do is I got my friend in the car. We're gonna pump the brake. Don't start the car, just pump the brake four or five times. It's gonna, it's gonna be soft, then it's gonna get hard. After that, what you wanna do is take your foot off the brake, put the key on an accessory. Is it on accessory? Mm -hmm. All right, so right now, look, the wheels are free. Put the parking brake up. So he put the parking brake on, you see? Can't turn the wheel no more. Turn it off. All right, so we got the engine on now and he released the brake. So we're gonna do this three times, okay? Put the brake, parking brake on. So you see that it grabs, I can no longer turn this wheel. So the parking brake is on. Look at that. Take it off. And brake, parking brake is off. So if you do that three times, the actuator is gonna find this spot and I'll put it on one more time. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. You're all done, set to go. Test drive it. Make sure you double check all your work. And that's how simple that is. So these are the brake pads, Evolutions. Okay, they're pretty good brake pads. So there's a part number here. That's what I use. They sent me two different ones. I the, These was another one right here. But these are totally different. This is like bigger and wider. So that might be for another model. So that's it we got them in there and it's all done thank you for watching my video guys see you guys on the next one got a whole bunch of stuff going on well, i did order a sensor just in case but the sensor was all right but that was the sensor